Hey, welcome back guys. So recently the head or actually the former head of CMHC, that's the Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation, Evan Siddall had come out and uh, gave his opinion on whether or not we are in a housing bubble. And that's a big question. Is Canada in a housing bubble? Uh, essentially his stance was no, we're not in a housing bubble and rattled off a few reasons why he thinks that uh, it's not necessarily a bubble that's going to burst. Um, and for the most part, I tend to agree with, uh, with you know, a few exceptions here. So Evan Siddall had uh, taken the helm of CMHC back in 2014, and he was running the Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation until April of 2021. He was actually um, there for a while. And what happened was during the pandemic, there was a lot of questionable moves that CMHC had done in order to try and navigate. And whether or not they were right or wrong, it ultimately led to CMHC losing a substantial amount of market share when it comes to mortgage insurance here in Canada. And keep in mind, we've got three insurers. Two of them are private. The third one being CMHC, that's a crown corporation, so it's government uh, run. The government-run one, CMHC, under Evan Siddall, had quite a bit of their market share deteriorate. They had um, tightened their requirements for minimum credit. They uh, reduced the overall debt ratios. So essentially what that meant was there was a higher uh, benchmark you had to hit in order to be approved for a mortgage. So anyway, he had left earlier this year and he came out talking about the bubble or so-called bubble, uh, stating that, look, we have a supply issue. Uh, we've got a pandemic. We have a lot more immigrants coming in uh, today and in the future. And essentially, we're not able to house everyone. Uh, so really, the question is, how do we tackle the supply issue? Because we've got supply, we've got demand, and we've got a strong demand with little to no um, indication that it's going to ease anytime soon. So obviously, in any market, if your demand outstrips your supply, you've, you've got some problems there when it comes to um, what the price is going to be because the market's going to dictate that price. I know that December 16th, uh, that's coming up next week, uh, we've got uh, the government, the Premier of Ontario, Doug Ford, had announced a, a crisis uh, summit, essentially. It's an affordability crisis summit that he is launching. So it's basically all the heads of a lot of the municipalities, mayors of cities, and he's trying to get everyone together to kind of tackle this issue and to understand, okay, well, how do we get more supply out there? And I don't know if it's necessarily something the government is going to be able to do. Now, some things have been passed around, such as um, having a capital gains tax on your primary residence, but I think the opposition and even the, the Liberals uh, government, they don't want to touch that. I know Evan Siddall had suggested perhaps increasing the mortgage insurance requirements to a minimum 10% down. Uh, this is where I disagree. I really don't think making it more difficult for Canadians to come up with that down payment is going to do anything to help. Uh, if anything, it's just creating another barrier. And you can see clearly what happens to CMHC under his helm at the end of um, his reign there. Uh, reduced market share and a lot of people moved away from using CMHC. So to comment and suggest that we increase the minimum from 5% to 10% just to me isn't tackling the right issue here. I don't think we're in a housing bubble, guys, but I do think there is a supply issue going on that needs to be tackled. A friend of mine actually was doing a lot of stuff in Toronto for laneway housing. So he was championing that endeavor to jump into affordable housing on back lots of a lot of these uh, properties downtown Toronto that they could convert into affordable housing. So things like that, thinking outside the box, I think is a really good idea. Um, but uh, increasing that uh, minimum down payment, not a good idea. Guys, what do you think? Um, how would you tackle this housing crisis? It's not an easy one to talk about, let alone to figure out a solution for, but I'd love to hear your comments. Um, like, subscribe, please, if you haven't. Uh, it goes a long way. And I will catch you around on the next one. That's all I've got for today. Take care, guys.